Hello friends, this video on chemistry in everyday life part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So for chemistry in our life is for the cleansing agent. So here we will talk more about soap and detergent which is used to clean our body or to clean our clothes. Right? So we will start with the soap. See soap is used for cleaning purpose. They are nothing but sodium or potassium salt of long chain of fatty acid. Right here, they are nothing but sodium or potassium salts of long chain of fatty acid. Okay, example stearic acid, palmic acid, right? So the soap which has sodium, they are formed by heating fat, that is glycerol, with aqueous sodium hydroxide solution. And this process is called sopanification. This is the reaction. I have my glycerol, a fatty acid. You heat with sodium hydroxide, you get sodium stearate and this glycerol. This is my soap. So for the potassium one, you can heat with the potassium hydroxide. Right? And this process is called sapo, saponification. Saponification. Right? So if you see in this reaction, the esters of fatty acids are hydrolyzed, and the soap, if you see the soap is obtained in the colloidal form only. This is in the colloidal form. So you have to take the soap out. So to do this, we react with NaCl. The moment you add NaCl, soap comes out. Right? And please know this potassium soaps are softer. These are softer. And the sodium soap. And only sodium and potassium soaps are soluble in water and they are used for cleansing action, right? Only this uh, sodium and potassium, right? And this, all these soaps are made by boiling fats or oils. There are various types of soap actually. We'll study this in the next slide. Yeah. There are various types of soap. Uh, they are toilet soap, they are floating soap, they are transparent soap, medicated soap, Shaving soap, laundry soap, utensils soap, there are so many soap. So let's discuss these one by one. If we talk about toilet soap. See in toilet soap, this is something which is used to clean our body, right? So it has to be a good quality of fat or oil. So here, good quality of fat is used. Because this is we use to clean our body. Right? And care is also taken to remove excess alkali because remove excess. Because this is not used to clean clothes, this is used to uh, clean our body. Also to add this uh, uh, color and perfumes to make it uh, attractive. So we add colors and perfumes. Right? So some uh, soaps smell well, some has good color. Then we have the floating soap. So in floating soap, what we do is, we break the tiny air bubbles before hardening. So we beat actually, we beat the tiny air bubbles before hardening. So it becomes floating soap. If you talk about transparent soap, for example, uh, Pierce. This transparent soap, to make it transparent, what we do is we dissolve this soap in ethanol and then evaporate. Evaporate all the excess solvent. It becomes transparent. Then we have medicated soap also. So in medicated soap, what we do is we add some medicines, substance with the medicinal value, 
medicinal value substance add so it becomes many grades of example data all show right then we have shaving soap to use for saving so for uh, shaving you need something which has uh, more lather right so what we do is we add glycerol so what glycerol does is it prevents rapid drying it will prevent rapid drying the soap won't dry easily okay also sometimes rosin is added is a gum so this also helps to get more lather and then we have laundry soap which is used to clean our clothes right so it has fillers like sodium rosinate sodium silicate borax etc it has all these fillers so there are different kind of soaps if you see all these are made from glycerols but little bit difference right for toilet soap you need good quality for transparent soap it is all made ethanol for medicated soap add some medicinal value substance for shaving soap add some glycerol or rosin correct but there is a problem with the soap it doesn't work in hot water why see hot water if you see has calcium and magnesium ions and these ions they form insoluble cal calcium and magnesium soap when these are dissolved in hot water for example i have this sodium soap sodium stearate this is my calcium in the hot water that is my soap when it dissolves you see it forms this insoluble cal calcium stearate this is again a soap it forms this insoluble this is scum actually Right? because they are insoluble and they are useless actually they are useless in fact they hinder the cleaning process so they are not good right? because they will adhere to the stick uh, they will adhere to the clothes and uh, it will form a gummy mass also sometimes if you see when you wash your hair with uh, hot water your hair becomes dull and sticky that is because of this scum so soap doesn't work properly with hot water and right? this is hot water hot water soap doesn't work properly so what is the soap problem because there's so many people who use hot water then came detergent it thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again